2 Dog Mob will not be appearing in this video. I have no idea where to take him or the running joke of me having destroyed the planet. And now that the video where the whole joke started is blocked, no one will understand the context behind this ongoing joke. So, no 2 Dog Mob. Sorry. Well, this took longer than I wanted. While my enjoyment of Death Battle has been a rocky one for sure, they are still able to produce quite a few amazing episodes here and there. And today, we'll be looking at my favorites. Now, I'm going to go by the rules I should have mentioned in the first list. I am mostly judging the episodes by their fights, as most of the characters on the show I have no knowledge of. But if I do find something worth talking about in the analysis sections, I will. With that said, I'm One Fish Mob, and this is my top 10 best death battles. But first, let's take a look at some honorable mentions. Don't worry, this will be a lot quicker than last time. As I've said multiple times, None of the subsequent Bat vs. Spider fights they've done has ever reached the same heights as the first. What can I say about it that hasn't been said before? The animation looks great and showcases both characters' fighting styles really well. The research, though basic, encapsulates both of their arsenals really good too. I just wish it wasn't just Batman mostly beating up Spider-Man the whole fight, with Spider-Man pulling out the last hit. Which, to be fair, is still one of the best in the whole series. You got a black belt and stupid if you think you're gonna beat me. For the fight that was the most unexpectedly fun, that would have to be this one. Goro vs. Matchamp is one of those fights most of us can live without seeing, but this made me happy it exists. It's an awesome fight that fully disproves the idea that mirror matchups are innately bad and repetitive, because this is just plain fun, and it's interesting to see how one would respond to the other's moves. Creating a really fun martial arts matchup with four times the punching power and four times the fun. Much like Batman vs. Spider-Man, there's not much I can say that hasn't been said already. The animation is amazing, the voice acting is great, this actually feels like what a crossover between Metal Gear and Splinter Cell would be like. It's Solid Snake vs. Sam Fisher. Watch it if you haven't already, and if you already have, please, watch it again. You're pretty good. You're pretty good. I've never seen Red vs. Blue. But let me tell you, if this is what the show's like, I may have to check it out. Because this fun little crossover between two of Rooster Teeth's most popular shows was just that. Fun. The interactions were funny between both sides, it gave us a cool battle between soldiers, and it truly makes me want to bring the meta into Fan War. I think he's that cool. Hmm... An opponent for the meta. Welp, Neapolitan it is. And the fight just makes you realize that there are a lot of potential matchups that can be derived from just one franchise. And these are matchups we rarely ever see discussed to any great detail, outside of maybe a few posts or threads online. In any case, this is a battle that's definitely a fun ride for both fans and non-fans. And with that said, Let's begin the top 10, shall we? I really shouldn't be ranking this episode on this list, as there are a lot of issues with it. But screw it, this episode has really grown on me. 
Not only do I think it does a much better job at explaining just how powerful the Hulk is, it also fixes some of the issues with their research from the last Hulk episode. They acknowledge that World War and World Breaker as being two different forms, so that's a definite plus. But what I really do like is that it's probably the only death battle episode that's ever come close to reaching the same scale as Goku vs Superman. Yes, I dunked on that episode pretty hard, but even I can't deny just how good the overall fight is, and it is without a doubt the best episode of Season 1. So comparing it to that, it really is saying something. It feels like an actual Dragon Ball fight. The changing locations, the choreography, the camera movements, and that final battle of headbutts are honestly really epic. But there are some things holding this back for me. I do find some issues with the outcome. I mean, seriously, the Hulk did all this universe-breaking stuff in his base form, while Broly could only achieve something similar in his strongest form. All the while, the rest of Broly's impressive feats was attained through scaling to other characters, including one who has yeeted similar Saiyans with no sweat. But I will admit, I do find it more believable that Broly beats the Hulk than the former. The sound design is another problem, and the biggest of them all in my opinion. It is easily some of the worst this show has ever seen, as none of the impacts from these dimension-shattering broods feel like they have any weight behind them. From the use of just Dragon Ball effects where actual hit sound effects should be used, to this infamous moment, it really drags the fight down. And I can totally see how this fight could have been so much better if there was just better sound effects. Heck, even I can do better than that. Not to mention, the model they used for the Hulk is pretty ugly. I get what they were trying to go for, make it look like it belongs in the Dragon Ball universe, but he just looks really weird. But to be fair, it is still not as ugly as the model they used for Batgirl. Not to mention, while Ikari is good in a vacuum, I don't think it's befitting of Broly or Hulk, especially when the latter's soundtracks usually sound like... Still, this episode is more so a guilty pleasure of mine, and I think it deserves the number 10 spot. You won't like me when I'm angry. Show me. Out of all the fights Death Battle has done, this was the one that caught me off guard with just how much fun it was. Now, I am not a Power Rangers fan, nor have I seen anything related to Voltron. But man, what can I say? The animation is really good. This captures the size and weight of each mech, be it in their smaller separate forms or their composited mechs. And the way it's shot and framed does make it feel more like an animated episode of Power Rangers, playing off just how weird and devastating their abilities are, making sure neither looks like they're outmatched at any time. And unlike Hulk vs Broly, the impacts have a meaty sound to them, so to speak. Which is kind of ironic since they're made of metal, but in any case, be it laser or fist, you can feel and hear the impact with each hit. I particularly like how they play with the size differences between both mechs, having Voltron always hovering to compensate for its smaller stature to fight the Megazord on even ground. I mean, I do wish the fight would have taken place in a more interesting environment, and perhaps had more interactions between the ten characters. And I really do wish there was a fight between the individual Zords and Lions before having them form into one giant fighting robot. 
but I still think this is easily their second best giant robot fight. Hands down.